Hi. Okay, so um, there's a reason I've been working late, and you guys have probably taken a couple of good guesses, and you're probably right. Has everything to do with these pieces. There's 50 of them. Um, 30 of these guys are coming with me to the gathering in Virginia on October the 10th in Lenexa, not Lexana, Lenexa. Sometimes I confuse my words. It's not my fault. I've always done it. But you understand what I meant. It's at Rockahawk. There's no confusing that. It's at the campground. It's the second annual. And um, there's going to be a lot of baits there. These are the big boys. But not just these. But these need a second layer of clear coat. So let's go over those first. I'm going to put you guys in a cradle. And I'm going to tilt this up just a little bit so there's not as bad of a glare. There's um, lots of stickers going with me. There's lots of all kinds of stuff, so we're going to get into that. We'll have to apologize if I sound sleepy. I am, folks. Um, we've all been burning the midnight oil, burning the candle at both ends of the wick. And in addition to all the orders and stuff that we bust out of our daily lives as painters, we've all been furiously painting a lot of different things for a lot of different people and a lot of really cool products that you guys are going to see. It's the iCast of Swim Baits. I'm going to start off with this guy. You guys love this one, and I love painting it. This is the Rasta pea. Obviously, it's peacock bass. Fun little emblem on the back side of it. And in the traditional green, yellow, and red, which is synonymous with peacocks. Did up the tail. I was talking to Mike Buca yesterday. We have been chatting a lot lately. We were talking about taping off the tail and leaving it natural versus painting the tail. So the tails on these don't get clear coated, number one. They don't get epoxied or clear coated. If any of it drips on, it's by mistake. It's not detrimental to the hair, but some people are wondering what's up with painting this is going to come off, so it's going to be natural. It's not going to hurt the tail in any way, and because you're not clear coating it, it's just going to come off eventually. When when the fish chew on it, when you're throwing it over and over again, because we know you guys love to throw these bull shads, um, yeah, it's, it's just going to come over. It's going to be natural after a period of time, so don't worry about that. It does not stiffen the tail. Um, it, it leaves the tail just fine because it's a light coat. But it does, on some patterns, like on, uh, on crappie and on shad and different things, trout, um, you want to kind of speckle the tail to match the hatch and make it look a little bit more natural. This is the red fade down into orange like the Rayburns do. This is just the shad. A little dark on top. Couldn't do a show without painting a few of these. You guys love this pattern and I love doing it for you. I did do a couple of shad. I know shad is going to be done by pretty much every painter out there. So the one thing that we all try to do, or at least I'm trying to do, is not to step on other painters' toes when I know that they have a strong suit in something or when they're going to be painting, like there's going to be a lot of crappie out there. There's going to be a lot of shad out there. I did do a couple of these. Just got it as natural looking as I could. I got that fall, winter pink belly when they start going distressed. They have a tendency to kind of look distressed, so we added a little bit of coloring into that and a little bit of detailing in. And I, there's a ton, 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 ton of these that I'm not showing uh, because they're going to get a big reveal later on this week. So this is just a little teaser for you guys. Got that green veining in the mesh. That's my signature trait, it seems like. It's what you guys really, really want to see me do. And um, I've kind of made a, made a splash doing it. And I also 
try to get as natural as I can. So this is the ultimate bluegill. And this pattern is rolling out for the gathering. It's the first time that I've really released this pattern. And you're going to be seeing it on some baby bull shads as well. We'll get into that. There's a whole lot that I can talk about. There's a whole lot that I cannot talk about yet. So just bear with me and stay tuned. There's a lot of news coming out this fall and winter. Some really good stuff. And uh, very excited to take you guys along on the journey with me. I really appreciate you guys sticking with it. Just a natural crappie. And that's as natural as I can get it. These stencils that you guys are seeing are from Brian Best. I use his stuff religiously. I use Russ Allen's stuff religiously. On the baby bull shads, Russ is all over the place. So he owns that fin wheel and the fin wheel is perfect for this pectoral fin on these baby bull shads so I'm, I'm gonna have to get some more because i'm wearing them out using those fin wheels but we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in just a bit but man these are so pretty i love showing you guys this stuff and then i did uh kind of a lightish color red breast And there's some turquoise veining underneath, which I think really brings, I need to get this on a side. It seems like everything's glaring today. I can kind of offset that this way. But there's some really pretty turquoise veins that run through this. And I always try and give you guys patterns and do things a little bit differently than most people do them. Uh, it's a lot more work. Uh, layering is not an easy job and you guys that have been doing it a long time and sling and paint y'all know that um, but I do try to give you guys the absolute best product that I can give you every single time when I turn a t when I turn something over to you guys and these have to get a, a second layer so of clear coat so they're gonna go right back on the clear coat rack after I'm done showing them off to you guys but there's a bunch more that um, that we're gonna save for this coming week and it's probably gonna be you'll be you'll be able to check that stuff out on Swimbait Universe so that is going on um, yes the rumors are true I am one of his feature painters now so Mike thank you so much for the uh, the opportunity I'm very, very excited to be a part of the Bullshad family. So, very cool stuff. You guys may have seen this one. I'm just going to show them to you in boxes because I've already got these boxed up. They have been through their two times clear coat and they are ready to rock and roll for the gathering. I'm showing them to you in a box because it's just easier than taking everything out. This is the, uh, the zombie. And what happened, what had happened here was that I had some mesh that ripped off my paint. So instead of scrapping it and starting all the way over, I'm like, well, that's close to Halloween. Let's go ahead and do something crazy. So I gave you a zombie bluegill because the bluegill pattern is still prominent underneath of this pattern. But now you've got exposed flesh and vein and just, just some cool stuff. Just a little trying to think out of the box for you guys. I've been playing around with several different patterns of a Rayburn-ish red type deal. So coming up with some new ideas. Actually, you know, simple. Keep it simple. The kiss method. I do like this one. And there's some gold, if you guys can see that, coming out on the forehead. There's some gold in there as well. The coho. Some of this stuff you guys may have seen. I've been trying to tease a little bit of it throughout the last few weeks. Um, as I've been folding these into orders and I'm still gonna, I still have orders to give you guys and I'm still working on orders, which is why I've been working really, really late nights because I still have y'all stuff to do too. Um, basically the way I've worked and the way I've always worked and will continue to work is that everything is done in the order that it is received by payment. Um, the same is true with when I got this box from Mike and from, um, Ketchco. I also have to, you know, stay committed to my customers and my 
and my orders, baby bass. I'm just gonna run through these real quick. Um, so everything's done in time and in the order. So I haven't jumped anybody, I haven't skipped anybody. Um, they're still getting done, but I have to fold my commitment and obligation stuff in there as well. Bullnose, minnow, some of these are twos and threes, so I won't need to show you all of this stuff, but some stripers are going. This is the realistic shad on the baby. And one, I don't know if you guys are going to love this as much as I love it, but I love this saltwater. I love doing saltwater stuff. This is the Antheus. It's a queen purple Antheus. It is a real fish in real life, and uh, it's just done in my style with the veining underneath. It looks like it's exploding off of the fish, which is the way I like to paint. Uh, it does take a little bit of extra effort. This is not a $10 paint job. So, again, uh, it's stuff that I want to get in depth with you guys as far as teaching you how to spray. And I just, I apologize. I simply have not had the time the last few weeks. You guys have seen, I've seen crappie patterns to death. This is the breeding version with that orange throat. And my best bow. These bows are hot, they're smoking hot. And that's what I was talking about as far as spraying the tails. The hair on these tails on the babies is the same type of hair, it's synthetic um, as what you see on the bull shads. You can get a little bit of clear coat on there. If, it, if you drop it by accident, it's not gonna eat through like it does plastic or epoxy, but it's not gonna kill it. Um, but you don't wanna clear coat the tails ever, not, not intentionally. Paint will just come off in time. Um, it does not hurt, hamper, do anything. This is the, it's like almost like a Rayburn Koi. Uh, was kind of goofing around with a couple things, kicking some ideas around back and forth. And uh, there's just something neat about putting this level of detail on a small bait that I love doing. You guys have seen the darter. You guys have seen, I think you guys have seen the juvenile brown trout. You've seen that. This is one other version of a Rayburn-ish type deal with gold and black, did the tail black on this one. And what else, what else, what else, what else? The orange koi, the normal koi. Again, there's, there's a bunch and we'll get into some more of this stuff later on as we go around. But I don't know how many more videos I'm gonna have a chance to do before I get on the road. I'm getting on the road on the 1st of October Moving cross country, I'm not flying, I'm driving, so I'm packing up the uh, Jekyll Bait Mobile, the Jeep, and we're going all the way cross country. Fish Across America, part two. Uh, going to see family on the East Coast, which I had never get a chance to do that, and I have not seen my family all year, and I miss them. I have family here in Arkansas, and I have family on the East Coast. And... I am really, really thrilled beyond belief to actually have a week or two off. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's just pretty. I love doing this stuff for you guys. Love it, love it, love it. Come see me. Come see us at Bullshad at the gathering. It's going to be a blast, you guys. These are the last two pieces that I'm going to show you. It's a small mouth. So, fun little bait there. And the peacock. So I am, so it's like I'm walling myself up here, blocked by baits. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I am going to get back to it because I still have some stuff to get out. I've got orders. Oh, yeah. Let me show you. There's some cool stuff that I put on Facebook yesterday. This stuff. Look at this stuff. This stuff is going out to one of my pro staffers on the West Coast. He's a West Coasty. So this stuff just came off the clear coat rack. And uh, it's a red hot craw. And then uh, this one. And I will see you guys on the next video. Hopefully that'll be another one this weekend. I don't know. I love you. I miss you. I miss like talking to you guys frequently. I've just been slammed. So I will talk to you on the next one. Cheers. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates. <laughs> Thank you.